Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Well, you can always edit an item's price in the item list by opening the Edit Item window and then directly changing the price within that window, you can also change the price of multiple items in the item list simultaneously. To do that, select Customers, Change Item Prices from the menu bar to open the Change Item Prices window. Use the Item Type drop-down to filter the list and only show items within the item list that match the item type you select, Service, Inventory Part, Non-Inventory Part, or Other Charge. To mark the items whose price you want to change, click into the leftmost column next to the items to mark them with a check mark. You can also check or uncheck the Mark All checkbox at the bottom of the window to assist you in making item selections if needed. After you have selected the items whose prices you want to adjust, type either an amount or a percentage, in which case you must also type a percent sign, into the Adjust Price of Marked Items by Amount or Percent field. Then use the adjacent drop-down to select whether you are marking the prices up based on the unit cost or the current price. Below that, you can use the Round Up to Nearest drop-down to select how to round the calculated amounts. You can select a choice from the listing shown or enter your own rounding specifications. To actually adjust the item prices, click the Adjust button to adjust the pricing of the selected items. After that, you should see the new prices appear in the new price column. Notice that this is a white column, so you can also click into the column for any item and simply type a new price if needed. To set the new prices for the selected items shown in the new price column, click the OK button at the bottom of this window to close the window and save your pricing changes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.